Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Happy Thursday, happy rewards day, and happy Thanksgiving to you guys that are celebrating. Again, we have some Black Friday market to talk about today because uh, we had a little bit of stuff rise yesterday with no content, with new team of the week, road to the final cars moving, SBC fodder still staying inflated. I want to talk about, especially tonight, right before rewards and maybe um, with rewards coming, what you might see with the market. And of course, could could this be kind of like our last chance to buy into some of these cards today on Thursday with whatever content comes and then also uh, tomorrow on early Friday. And I kind of want to explore a little bit of what could be happening um, maybe late into the night today, Thursday, depending on how rewards goes and how the content goes. And then on Friday as well, the start of the day. But a couple of things I want to point out really fast is this Erling Holland that we talked about yesterday on the video. He was about 120,000 coins last night. He did get in Team of the Week, and his Team of the Week card that came uh, yesterday was at 500k right away in the first hour or so. So this Holland card bounced up nicely. Same thing with Teo Hernandez because he did not get in Team of the Week, but uh, that was kind of nice. So if you did buy any of those, you were chilling right there. Speaking of the new Team of the Week, we have rewards in a couple hours, right? And um, I don't think a lot of packs are going to be open to rewards today. I feel like people are going to save those packs and save them for Friday. So um, the only packs that people might be opening are those guaranteed Team of the Week packs. Some people might be saving those still because they might think if there's best of Team of the Week coming out on the weekend, they might be able to pack those cards in those reds or not reds but in the um the tradable team of the week packs i don't believe that's the case so i do think we'll see a lot of those open so a um market movement to watch out for today would be some of these cards getting supplied from tradable team of the week packs from the elite and higher players on the game um you know we're still in like this, this market's just really in a dead state right now Really, people, the market's not moving that much. We did see an uptick on some cards today, some out of packs in forms and some gold cards. I'll talk about that in a second. Um, but a lot of stuff on the market is just kind of like dead and chilling because nobody really wants to buy it because they're waiting to see what happens on Friday with the actual promotion of Black Friday, um, especially with the uh, the Icon SBC that happened uh, a couple days ago. That really messed up the market. Uh, but I do think these cards are gonna fluctuate a little bit today. These guys don't have much supply at all. There were no tradable packs that were released today. So their first real bit of supply, they're already low, in my opinion, um, for what kind of cards we have here and how fast they got to this price because with without a lot of tradable supply, if that makes sense. Uh, but with the rewards today, I do think these guys, some of them will dip and then some of them will rebound. Cards that I would expect to rebound a little bit after rewards from this team of the week would be Ronaldo, Lukaku, Carrasco, Holland, and Neuer and Digne, those would be my picks to probably bounce a bit with the best bounces probably being Carrasco and Neuer. Um, maybe Holland, we'll see. But just kind of keep an eye on those cards um, today. Now let's talk about the rest of the market for a second because I'll talk about SPC fodder in a second in terms of rewards. But again, if we're looking back towards yesterday with no content that came out on a Wednesday, uh, you saw a lot of cards kind of bounce back a little bit. Pogba was 130 up to 140. Sun, I actually have five or six Suns on my transfer list. I talked about this in the video yesterday too. Meta Golds and some of the out of packs informs that are very desirable are probably going to bounce back today and um, or probably at least bounce back at rewards. I'm kind of a big fan of some of these rule breaker cards. This Yorente is one that I shouted on the uh, the Twitch live stream tonight. Uh, when we were live streaming on Twitch.tv, link is down below in the description, of course. Um, but this Yorente card was like chilling it in the 200, 205 to under 210 range today. Um, I With the Carrasco card that came out, I think this card has a possibility of rising today just because I know the inform is cheaper, but this one has the boosted defensive stats and I think people actually like this Rule Breakers one and it's very rare. So a lot of cards right now have bounced back a little bit and a perfect example is that Sun um, and Joe Gomez. Uh, Sun today was around 75,000 coins in the midday. I bought um, seven or eight of them at 75,000 coins. And as you can see now, he is at 80K. I do think today with rewards, stuff is going to trend upwards. I wouldn't think it'd be a crazy upturn, but probably just a trend upwards. So you might see some of these cards go up. It might be a time to make a quick short flip. If you see any quick uh, price drops before rewards on any informs, a rule breakers, or even some of the meta golds 
Um, you know, that could be a situation where you try to buy in on some of those and, and watch them rise a little bit. Um, like I was looking for Timo Werner. He's 104,000 coins. He was at 99K earlier today. He's really not up that much. Varane is 251. He was like 260 at one point. He was 240. Now he's gone to 251. Joe Gomez is up almost 10,000 coins. He was under 70K on Snipe today and is now up to 76. I bought a Gomez at 70, 67 and sold it at 77 today. So that was a GG. Um, but today, mostly on the market, what we're kind of hoping for is a slight rise after rewards, possibly a, a, an opportunity for us to make a little bit of profit on some cards. And then depending on what the content is, today at 6 p.m., you maybe see the market rise a little bit more into Friday night. I don't know if, about any like leaks or loading screens. I would expect a loading screen today at 6 p.m. UK. Um, last year, and I can look this up really fast, Black Friday FIFA 20, the loading screen that they had last year, uh, it was this right here. It, it, basically, this was the loading screen. It was nothing big or revealing. I think that's all that it was. Uh, so it was really nothing that special. But... I do expect some sort of a loading screen today, and hopefully we get more of an insight on what EA is going to do. Are they going to do best of team of the week, or are they not going to? I still think they're going to, because think about it this way, right? I was talking about this with a couple other friends today. Um, they have to do something to sell packs. Yes, they can put Ronaldo in team of the week, and that's going to sell some packs, um, but they have to do more than that, especially for a Black Friday promo where a lot of people are getting the game. They need to have some sort of incentive getting the game for the first time, I mean, uh, some sort of incentive to put on FIFA points, buy FIFA points to open packs. So I think they're going to either put old special cards back into packs of some kind, uh, either doing that in a new way this year with other cards in packs or just doing best of team of the week, which I think has the highest possibility of happening. And once again, just to kind of reiterate, what you might see is we've had a lot of sell-off on some of these cards, right? Mane last year, went from 1.2 million coins almost down to 1 mil even before he was released in best of team of the week because people were expecting his release, right? We've already seen Messi drop off Bruno Fernandez. We've seen a lot of other high tier Marcus Rashford's inform drop off a lot already. But then again, once they get released into packs, they absolutely get destroyed with supply. So you see guys like Messi, who's already down like 300,000 coins. Honestly, this Messi card's down like 300k. Messi was 1.06 million coins today. Right now he's 1.11, so he's kind of dropping back down, but he's still fluctuating a decent amount. A, a central position change Messi. Crazy that he's this low already. Just keep an eye out on this card today. Um, watch out for the panic selling. Is it an opportunity to buy in the panic selling? In my opinion, no. You don't want to buy these cards when they're going into packs if they're going back into packs and they're going to have tons and tons of supply. If EA does something different and doesn't end up um, re releasing these cards into packs, like a best of team of the week, if they switch it up and do something different, then you're going to have an opportunity to buy these cards and see a massive rise if they're not getting released back into packs. But I think they are going to get re-released. This Ben Yedder card was 600K a few weeks ago. He was down to 400K just earlier this week he's now bounced to 430 so if you have any of these cards i still would consider it a last chance to get out of them unless ea changes it up and does something completely different with that best of team of the week um but this again kind of on cards that aren't in the best of team of the week we have an opportunity here this is kind of like maybe our last chance to buy some of these out of packs informs rule breakers if they do drop at all for whatever content is released on thursday if they do put out a loading screen that gives us some gives us some information and if we don't see too much of a market rise or even before rewards now if you see a low price it would be a great time to buy an out of packs card in my opinion uh, because you just don't know how much panic we're going to see on friday morning because a lot of people are starting to, to think about buying cards in that time frame you just don't know how much panic we're actually going to see related to the Black Friday promo and especially after 6 p.m. on Friday with all this stuff happening as well. So this might be a, a chance where you say, hey, the market rose a little bit today. It's given me a bit of confidence that people want to buy cards. You know, Valverde was 229 this morning. Joe Gomez was 370. Kimmich was 105. Zaha was 190. So a lot of these cards have started to rebound back a little bit. Uh, so, you know, they're maybe up a little bit they're still gonna go higher, right? Because we have a huge coin injection coming. A lot of people are gonna be buying teams and you're gonna see these prices bounce up even more. Firmino's still low, Ramos was 230. Um, so I'm kind of looking at this like a possible last chance. 
maybe not exactly like today on Thursday, but tonight, Thursday night, and Friday morning, if there is panic, could be kind of like a last chance buy time for some of these out of pack specials. Some of you guys have waited this long to buy. Some of you haven't, right? And I don't think if whichever way you went, some of you guys bought Rule Breaker like Jimenez at like 160, 150 mids. And you're like, yo man, this guy went down 10,000 coins. He's almost back up to where I bought him. Like, what do I do? Just keep holding, right? You bought in a very, very low time overall. Jimenez was 190. Now he went down to 150. He's kind of been chilling, right? He went down to 149, 150. He's back up a little bit, right? We're, we're starting to see a little bit of that bounce back. And that gives me confidence that again, this market is just ready to buy. People have been waiting. They've been waiting for two weeks now. Some people have been waiting to buy the team that they have wanted to buy for Black Friday. And we're getting very close. Now, one thing that's made this market very interesting is the Champions League games that have happened in the past couple days. And I think the Europa League games are going to impact that as well today. So, the main man, Quincy Promes, rode to the final item, dropped a lot after the game today. Right now, he has 209,000 coins. He was just 200k on the market. A lot of these road to the finals are dropping post game and these guys are rare. I think these are really solid investments if it's a team that is either going to get third place and go to um, Europa League, but it's even better if a team is going to be top one or two and advance to the knockout rounds of Champions League because that means their upgrade is still going to be happening in December. Now, Quincy Promes and Ajax, they did win today, but since in their group, Atalanta beat Liverpool, it's looking more likely... It looks more, I guess, there's a higher percentage chance, in my opinion, I think, that Atalanta will stay up in the group. And that has made uh, the card, um, who's the striker from team number one that rose today? Uh, Muriel. So the Muriel striker card, because he's from Atalanta, and they had the big game today, they were not looking good in the group. Um, we've, had, we've had flips in price on both sides of the coin. We have guys like Muriel. This guy's up like 10, 12,000 coins from where he was. He was 62K today. He was down under 50K earlier. Um, and now he's back up to 60. Now, then you have guys like Promes who were 240, 250 and is now down to 200K because it's not looking as likely for him to get into that next round of the Champions League. Now, why did Promes drop? Is Promes still a decent investment? Yes, he's very hyped up. This, in my mind, is still a decent investment. At low 200s, if you can get him there, not a bad price. Now, I'm not sure about the PlayStation price. I have to check that in a second. But this is a very hyped up card in this game that people like to use regardless. He's got um, 82,000 games played and he has 3,400 upvotes on Footbin. I know you can't see it at the moment. But very hyped up card, overpowered card with the four-star weak foot and the five-star skills in this game. Now, he doesn't get an upgrade. If they get third place... Uh, in early December, and he does, he won't get an upgrade when he turns into a Europa League card. He literally just won't get an upgrade when all the other ones do, even though he's still a live item. And if Ajax get third and they go down to Europa, he'll still be live, but he will not get an upgrade at that point in time. He will have to wait until the spring when they would play their first rounds in Europa League and advance in order to get an upgrade. So that's kind of the bad situation with this promos. Although there are Champions League games next week, I do think promos will rise back up because these cards are so rare and they just they just plain rise back up from panic selling. We've already seen a little bit of a rise on guys like Akanji, right? Akanji after the Dortmund game went down to almost under 200,000 coins. He's back up to 215. Even smaller drops like, like Draxler, Draxler was 60k. PSG won, giving themselves putting themselves in a more favorable position for the next Champions League uh, possibility of an upgrade. And Draxler's 50k right now, but he was under 50k today, and he's kind of bounced back to 52 if that 50k snipe was not there. Um, some of these Champions League cards did get sold off though, and that's why I wanted to point it out. If you have any Europa League cards that are still high, you might consider taking the cash. Renato Sanchez, Aubameyang. Uh, in Diddy, Diaby, Bruno Perez, any of the guys that are in team two as well. Um, because once they're guaranteed to get the upgrade, you might have a situation like Griezmann right here. Griezmann was 600K before the game. He's now 520. They're guaranteed to go to the next round. Um, Barcelona is guaranteed to go to the knockout rounds, and this guy has still dropped 60K. I think he rises over this weekend with Black Friday and continues to rise into early December just because it's a rare out of packs, road to the final, live item. So watch the drop-offs on any of the Europa League cards today if their teams are going to be progressing into the next round. 
it's more likely that you see a drop in price just with the way the market is right now than an increase in price. The cards that have actually, you know, uh, stayed the same, Salah, Zakaria, those items uh, have stayed the same because I think they were, you know, pretty modestly priced before and they weren't over invested in. Zakaria has actually dropped a little bit today, not much. But guys like Davies were way overinflated. Rashford's down 100K. Klosterman still is 340. He was 380, 390. You know, and then you have cards that might not even get into Europa League like Inter and the way Inter is playing right now. You have a pure a Perisic card that is down at 33,000 coins after being 50K because Inter is sitting on uh, two points at the very bottom of their group. So just kind of take advantage and or take a knowledge of what situation each team is in the group. Um, and if those cards are, um, you know, not destined for glory in Champions League or Europa League, you're probably going to see those prices maybe go up a little bit from Black Friday. Um, but I do like these road to the final cards. Once the market gets confident again, I do feel like these cards are going to rise back up. So that was one of the big things I want to talk about today, um, along with just the whole general market rise. Last thing I want to mention, SBC fodder. Let's talk about this for just a second. We have rewards in a couple hours, or maybe you've watched this video and rewards have already come out. SBC fodder is dropping at the moment, slowly but surely. It's dropping. All of these 86s were at 15 to 16K earlier today. They're now at 14 to 15. Nobody can do the base icon SBC twice. Everybody is completing it. People, you know, an SBC completion rate is like a downward sloping curve. Right away, it's like at very highest, it's hype. And then as time goes on, if it's non repeatable, it just goes down because the number of people that can actually do the SBC, they've already done it. They can't do it anymore. So a lot of this fodder is dropping with, even though there's a little bit of packs probably being open today, not many, I do expect SBC fodder to drop today on the market. So if you have any stuff that you want to cash out on, you can cash it out. If you're still invested and you're not sure what to do, should I sell? Should I hold? Through Black Friday, all I'm saying, all I'm saying is there's going to be a lot of pack supply on Friday. I don't really expect any content today except tradable marquee matchups. That just is going to add supply to the market for this SBC fodder with really not a ton of demand right now. We have icons, yes. We have a team of the week SBC, yes, with Ronaldo. Maybe you'll see these 83s drop and then rebound a little bit today on Thursday. Um, but all I'm saying is if you have SBC fodder and you're still making coins, maybe you cash out on it or you're or you either cash out now and get your coins and try to invest in something else and buy a team, or you just continue holding on and hope for the absolute best after Black Friday actually comes um, in two days so or in one day. So that's kind of where I'm feeling with the whole market at this point. Again, I'll show you what I bought for a technical Thursday flip today. Um, my Gomez already sold. I had this Carrasco. I bought a 77K. He rebounded to 82 a little bit from Team of the Week fluctuations today. And then all of these sons, I bought um, one Konate at 40. These walkers I bought earlier in the week at 65. And all of these Hyunmin sons, after I get past my Dumfries that I need to sell, all of these Hyunmin sons I bought at 75, 74 to 75K today. And I would love to get another six to seven K a card out of them after rewards. Cause I do think there are going to be people, people that buy some teams today because they're just used to buying and selling on Thursdays and buying their teams on Thursdays for weekend league. So it's probably like the last dead day on the market boys. All right. This today, Thursday, probably not a lot of content, maybe a loading screen, maybe an SBC marquee matchups. I don't expect a ton to happen today unless EA has something fancy up their sleeve. Uh, this should be like the last dead day on the market, all right? I'm excited for big things to happen tomorrow. Get ready. Uh, get your coins liquid if you want to be liquid. I'm going to be rolling up to Friday morning with all of my Thursday flips sold so that I have all my coins at the ready for Friday with Black Friday with panic selling. Hopefully in the morning we get some panic. I would like that. Possible uh, coin making opportunities. We'll talk about it all tomorrow's video as well. Hopefully we learned something about Black Friday today through a loading screen, through a foot watch tweet or anything like that. So if you enjoyed the video, smash the thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.